There comes a time in every man's life where he must decide. Do I want money, power, fame? Do I want to interact with women in real life? Do I want to build lasting, meaningful human relationships? Or do I want a Wheel of Mud Super Bowl ring? You better listen up, buddy. You better listen up, because I'll tell you right now what my answer is! Survive the playoffs! That's our objective today, boys. After a grueling one and two start to the season, we went on to win four straight games. And just in case you need a refresher, this is season one of Wheel of Mutt. And in Wheel of Mutt, I start with an all silver team. And by spinning the Wheel of Mutt, I can add to that team. We've got 87 Kenny Pickett at quarterback. Jerry Rice, the GOAT at wide receiver with Jamar Chase and John Mechie. We've got two insane tight ends, 88 Gronk, 87 Gesicki. We've got a manageable offensive line. And on defense, we've got Ed Reed. We've got Primetime. We got Pat Pete, Derwin James, Nolan Smith, Trenton Simpson, probably the star of this defense. Then 87 Leonard Williams, Big Cat. He's got to be runner up. And 86 Nick Bosa at right end. And one thing that everybody needs to remember, the Wheel of Mutt team resets. If I make the Super Bowl, we get one additional prestige prestige player. Prestige players are locked into my lineup infinitely, and I'm always entitled the best version possible of their card. So if I prestige Quentin Nelson, I would then get the next best released Quentin Nelson. So we do need to think about who we would prestige. Normally, I don't like prestiging a tight end. Oh, wow, man. This Gronk is making me think twice. He's got the Vanguard ability, one of my favorites. I also gave him armbar. It's kind of overkill, but I thought it'd be fun. He's got incredible stats. He's the best tight end in the game right now. The problem with this prestige is what are the odds that Gronk gets another card? I imagine he'll get another card, you know, for Ultimate Legends maybe, but that's not gonna be for a long time. So this should be a short-sighted prestige. I don't want to talk about it anymore because I have to make the Super Bowl for it to matter. So let's not fret about that. We have to make it through the wild card and the NFC Championship, and then it's the Super Bowl. And don't forget, this is the playoffs. So my wheel spins are juiced, but I only get two of them. Okay, so not three wheel spins today. Oh, we were so close to a full legend jackpot. So I can get any player, 80 to 85 overall, but they're gonna be a Packer, I think. Hmm. I wonder if Quay Walker has a good card. Dude, if I could have Trenton Simpson and then Quay Walker, it'd be nasty. We gotta go see who the Packers have, though. Honestly, as I look at this team, I'd like to get rid of Seau. I'd like to get a D-Tackle 2 and MLB 2. I could beef up the O-line a little bit, too. The Packers have an insane amount of options. Charles Woodson, this 85 Charles Woodson is actually... I mean, this is nice. 86 speed, 6-1. They got Luke Musgrave. We already have Bakhtiari. Christian Watson. Jordan Love. The obvious pick for us here, though, is Josh Myers. My current center is... Ted Karras, this is a plus five overall upgrade, plus 11 strength. And honestly, we've been running the ball well this year. So I would love to boost the offensive line. That works out really well. Packers came in clutch. Josh Myers is in. Hey, the very first wheel spins an 85 center. This is the juiced wheel. I expect something nasty on this one. Division's jackpot, I will take that. So oh, I would have taken either of those. All right, division's jackpot, any single player in the game, but They've got to come from where? So give me NFC East. I love the NFC East. Whew. Yo, never forget that at the start of last year, everybody thought the NFC East was the most poverty division in football. And then boom, Eagles, Cowboys, Giants. Sorry, Commanders fans. You're you're still kind of poverty. I hate to say it. Any single NFC East player in the entire game. Start with the Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles. Best player right now is Devontae Smith, the Slim Reaper. Super cool card. My wide receivers are great. There's no reason to do this. So I don't think Eagles is really on the table here. Dallas Cowboys have Demarcus Ware, Aaron Bland, and Stephen Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore. Guys, who cares? Like, actually, who cares? Like, are you really gonna might make a comment about that minor name pronunciation? Like, shut up. Low key, though, Gilmore might be my best pick right now. Oh my god, he's insane. Eesh. I forgot about this. The Giants have Lawrence Taylor. This, I just have to go with this. It's so hard to not take this. Okay, Lawrence Taylor's the front runner right now for sure. Oh my god, but I just remembered who the commanders have. But dude, Sean Taylor is so sick too. Oh, there's actually so many good options. Who is my free safety? Why am I drawing a blank? All oh, right. My free safety is the 84 Ed Reed, who's honestly kind of mid. He's not too fast, and he's also 5'11". So this 
Maybe Sean Taylor's a huge upgrade. Oh, this is so hard. Damn, could I have gotten like a shittier division? Made this easier for me? After some deliberation, I'm going Lawrence Taylor LT. Lawrence Taylor is disgusting, man. Sean Taylor would have been a really good pickup too. And honestly, both of these guys are incredible prestige options too. I could prestige LT. Probably the greatest defensive football player of all time, I would say. And here's the other good thing about this. So LT's obviously gonna be my right outside linebacker. I'm gonna blitz him every single time it's possible. He will hopefully not be in coverage very often. And then I actually get to move the 84 sale back to MLB too. So this was definitely the right call. Oh, bro, if Ed Reed gives up a big touchdown today, I'm gonna be so sad. One thing though, I gotta see, what does Lawrence Taylor have for abilities? He's gotta have some crazy AKA. His AKA is blitz. It's actually not a very good one. I see no reason to run this. Does he get edge threat or anything like gross? He gets a lurker? Dude, that's so crazy. With 82 change of direction, 85 speed and 6'3", he's actually, he's actually a very good user with lurker. That's crazy. If I can't get edge threat, I'm not giving him an ability. Edge threat's the only ability worth using. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go, go in raw with Lawrence Taylor. I'm fine with that. I do get additional stamina for this ability slot. So I guess I'll throw that on there. That's it, gentlemen. Those are our two wheel spins. We add a stud center, Josh Myers, and we add one of the best defensive players to ever play football. Ooh, also Raekwon Davis. I don't know why I don't have Raekwon Davis in. He should be my D tackle too. Now my lineup is ready. We are 84 overall. I can use her a safety if I need to because I have Gardner Johnson for depth. Corners look solid. We even have depth there with Charvarius Ward. D line is looking good. Linebackers are looking nasty now. I think on defense, I'm most scared about this Ed Reed. 5'11, 84 speed. That's scary. On offense, my wide receivers are great. My backfield, dude, I'm not gonna talk shit about Fred Taylor. I don't care what overall he is. He's a dog. O line looks amazing. Mike on Wenu is the only really raw spot here. And uh, two of the best tight ends in the game. How are you gonna complain about that? And the challenge wheel is a little bit different for the playoffs. Let me see this spin first, and then I'll explain it to you guys super quick. 30 plus be fun. Ooh, ooh. We have not gotten this yet. One player needs 50 rushing, 50 receiving, and a touchdown. Obviously, this is gonna be a halfback. Fred Taylor, 50 rush, 50 receiving, and at least one touchdown. Be a big game for him if he can do it. Now, normally, the challenge wheel gets me one of any pack in the store that costs coins. Completing the challenge wheel in the playoffs could also get me a training pack if I choose. To be honest, none of these packs are that great, so I probably wouldn't elect for that. Dude, but sometimes there are training packs that are so juiced, it's unbelievable. But gentlemen, you see it on your screen. Survive the playoffs. That's the only thing that I'm really worried about here. If Fred Taylor can go off, even better. Gronk, Kenny Pickett, and Jerry Rice. That's <laughs> That's a fever dream lineup. He's got Jalen Watson, Eric Berry, and Will Greer. Honestly, my team might be a little bit better, but that kind of scares me because he is in his playoffs. Oh, so the only adjustment I got to make in this zone is Blitz LT. I got Simpson in the middle. You can run that ball all you want. You're going to get fucking stuffed. Simpson, let's go. Oh my God, I almost tried to tackle him. Oh, Blitz, it's 100% a pass. Send everybody. We're coming, Will Greer. LT. Oh my God. Two sacks to open up the playoffs. He's in trouble already. Just keep the heat on. That's it. Okay. That's honestly a nice throw, but kind of what we're looking for. Fourth and 14. We got to run man for this. We got to run man for this. Yeah, we're manned up. We're good. Get there. Oh my God, no. I think I had the wrong guy in coverage though. I think I had say out in coverage. I got to be in nickel. I should have called a timeout. I'm going to need to make an adjustment to this too. I dare you. Oh, come on! Bosa! We'll do it again, boys. We'll do it again. Second and 29. I'm guessing pass. I'm going, I'm flying in with Trenton Simpson. Go. Blitz gets picked up. He, <laughs> Hayden Hurst, Hayden Hurst. Oh my God, career sell. What are you doing? I've got Odell. I've got Odell! What? 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 Oh my God, what? I have never seen that. What the fuck? What was that? Sit down! No shot! No shot! He did that to us! I just perfectly fucking jumped the route twice! Oh my god, no fucking way you score on this drive. There is absolutely no way you are scoring on this drive. This is... Holy shit. I'm gonna break a fucking monitor. The first one teleported through Trenton Simpson's chest! I swear to god! I have never been so close to every fucking ball. That one right there. Okay, I need Lurker to catch that. That's fine. Maybe I gotta be on a safety, but what the fuck is going on? He's gonna run the ball here, get stopped. Oh my God, I am so fucking tilted right now. Second and nine. Hand off here, going right up the middle. Excellent user play, third and seven. Fuck you. Thank you. 
Come on, Simpson. House this bitch. You earned it. Ah! Ah! Now here's what we're doing. We're going into I formation. I'm taking Gronk out for Gasicki. I'm taking Franco Harris out for Gronk. Gronk has the ability Vanguard. If you watched my videos last year, you'll know what Vanguard is. But if you're new, Vanguard gives you one hell of a fucking block. Let's put it like that. Watch Gronk and enjoy. T shit. It didn't even fucking matter because that was such a good run that Gronk wasn't even involved. Same shit, different day. Follow Gronk. Just follow him. It's a pancake. Look at that fucking block! Stuke! Fred! Taylor! Get your ass in the end of the If I make it to the Super Bowl, I'm prestiging that Gronk. There's no way I'm going the whole season without watching that. Fred Taylor about 25 yards and a touchdown already on the ground. We just gotta get him some yards in the air and we get that challenge real too. No, 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 no. This is wheel my wild card. No, absolutely not. Get your ass. No. You it's defense, bro. You don't even like this part. Dude, I'm boxing this guy like a fish, actually. Pick him. Pick him off. Pick him off. No, I'm gonna say. Oh! Oh! Get a dance for sell. We're, we're grittying on you, bud. Hey! 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 You shit! Dad Reed! Yeah, I did. Oh Tell him he's dog shit. Tell him he's dog shit. Dude, he is dog shit. Oh my god, you actually. Oh, he's gone! Wait, he's gonna quit! He's gone! He quit? Wait, 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 wait. He's gonna quit. He has to be sending him a message. What is he doing? Probably sending him a message. Your ass! Nobody can beat him. Nobody can beat him. <laughs> this is why his name is MM God. Because he's a god at the game. Holy shit, man. Good job, honey. I won't beat you today. I promise. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Guys, he didn't mean that. Yeah, you're right. I'm still gonna beat her. I'm still gonna do it. Dude, I'm sick of this wheel of month season though. Why is everybody quitting? How do you make it to the playoffs and quit? Like that's so stupid. Dude, it's ge it's genuinely it's genuinely dumb. I'm trying to get content. Did he send me a message? He had to have. Yes, it's a video. I'm in the playoff. It's my wheel of month team. Bro, what are we doing? By the way, for anyone who's equally frustrated because you wish the episodes were longer, I do too. But this this is a total anomaly. Like this is weird. This has never happened. And on average, it doesn't happen. So I know season two is gonna be amazing and I've loved season one, but like the amount of rage quits is super weird. It's just like uncharacteristic. It never happens like this. All right, listen, I know you guys want more gameplay. I'm gonna do one drive here. I'm playing um, Mutt Champions. I don't even know what this is, but it let me queue up against some guy and it's not gonna affect my record in our actual season. See, that's the problem with a rage quit wheel of Mutt. I can't just queue up another game. If I queue up another game, I'm playing the NFC Championship, which would make next episode the Super Bowl. It's just... It's it's just not how it works. Apparently, I'm playing the best of the best. That's what they called this. Good God. Second and 15, Gronk! Did you see the pancake from Gronk? I'm telling you, man, that Vanguard shit is crazy. He pancaked the user. Still got to get a push on all the D linemen, though. See, like, right there. I mean, Gronk still flattened somebody, but I couldn't even get to the second level, so. It's not, like, it's not overpowered, but it is, uh, <laughs> it's really fun while it's activated. I'll say that. All right, boys, here's what we'll do. If I can score a touchdown on this drive, I'll open a pack. That's our prize. Good God. They're doing the YouTube.com cheese blitzes. Because what the fuck is that? I'm blocking five. You're sending four, but the guy doesn't get touched. Ooh. Very nice catch by Jamar Chase. That time he only blitzed, time he only blitzed three. Can I get Gronk open? That was honestly just, that was just good pass rush. I'm not even mad about that. Hey, that's okay. We're going to go for this dub anyway. Look at Gronk. Got to be. That feels good. Dude, when you go up against the YouTube.com defense, it feels good to score. Can he get in? Go! Oh, he doesn't get in. If I can stop him on defense, that's an extra pack. He's going with a run himself. Lawrence Taylor is having absolutely none of it. Now I'm going to go man blitz. I'm going to go get RG3. Oh my God, I got his pass. Dude, I'm even smoking the big dogs right now. He could hit his tight end. He couldn't hit that. Dude, I'm smoking. I'm just fucking lights out right now. Skirt! Oh, my sound effect did not go with that. That was about the slowest juke I've ever seen. YouTube.com defense. I can't wait to run all over it with high form. Ah, cut it up. We take that. We take that, Fred Taylor. Gronk's got his ability back. No! Gronk! Go flatten that man. And I've got a touchdown. 
Jesus. That's like, this is some YouTube shit. Can we just watch that back? Like, I'm blocking five and you're blitzing four, but he's like, he's untouched. That's just not football. It's just, it's just you go on YouTube and there's some glitch blitz that works because EA sucks at coding the O-line. And this is how people play competitive Madden. That shit is so whack. Yeah, I listen, I got my touchdown. I got my stop. We'll give our opponent here a W. And um, we just need to look forward to the divisional playoff. And for anyone wondering, this is what I just played. It's called Champions. Earn competitive pass XP to earn exclusive players by competing against the best of the best in this week's champs. Yeah, I don't really know what that is. Sorry, boys. Uh, this is basically like stat padding for the episode because I just, I've never had this many rage quits. But what I do, of course, have, gosh, you guys are seeing a lot of this wheel. You're seeing a lot of this wheel. Can we get the jackpot on? Can we get the jackpot on? No. No. 84 choice has been good to us. I think last one was 83, 84. I think I'm going to go with a right guard here. We're becoming a very dominant run team with that Vanguard Gronk. If we just bolster Mike on Wenu, that'll be real nice. The only other thing I could do is Raekwon Davis. I could get another 84 D tackle in there, but I want to boost my O-line. I think O-line is really important. I'm hoping there is an 84 right guard. If there isn't, I'm screwed. Oh my God. I, I said that definitely not thinking it was actually possible. Damn. There's no 84 right guard. Okay. I guess we are taking a D tackle here. Maybe next episode I can pick somebody up. Oh my God. The only 84 D tackle is Jonathan Allen. I already have him. I guess I'm going to get creative here. I'm going to pick up 84 Cam Hayward. I'm going to move him to D tackle. Uh, Cam Hayward is a very big right end anyway. I don't think this is too far out of the wheelhouse. That's funny. That was so unlucky. He's a 78 overall at D tackle. That's shockingly low actually, but uh, it is better than Raekwon Davis. So I said I would open two packs from the store. So I'm going to do it. We really haven't opened that many packs on Wheel of Mud this year. So far, none of this is usual. I pretty much have to pull some crazy shit for it to even go on the team. So I don't imagine this will impact too much. Take one more Legends back right here. And Demarcus Ware, Warren Moon, Patrick Jones. Oh my god. God, what? 85, Levante David. How does this stack up to Junior Seau? Because he might be a starter now. Seau is faster. Levante's got more Excel, more play rec, more tackle, less block shed. Yeah, Seau's better. Sorry, Levante David. It was a fun It was a fun thought, though. Mickey Mouse playoff run, I guess. I am praying that the NFC Championship is a good game. I'm so sorry. But this will be the only season this happens because this is so weird. But I love you guys. And I'm going to get you an amazing NFC Championship. Thanks for watching. As always, you guys are the best. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace!